Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the purple smoky eye tutorial. Um, and this is my purple outfit. I had to pick a purple outfit to match with the purple eyeshadow. So this is the purple outfit. I'm actually filming in my kitchen today. So sorry for the weird background scenery. Okay, so and my hair is wet because I just kind of got out of the shower. So I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna pull my hair back with a headband because I do not want it to get in the way of my eyeshadows. Oh, and these are the shoes that I was wearing with the dress. These were twelve dollars at TJ Maxx and they're really cute and that's just what I'm wearing with the dress. I thought you guys. Okay, so I've done like my foundation and my powder and my blush and everything. So now I'm just gonna start with what I would do for my eyes. Um I'm going to take this primer potion, and this is Bare Minerals. It's actually a foundation primer, but I ran out of primer potion, so I'm just going to use this for my eyes. And I have a mirror right beside here, so if that's my phone again, I'm sorry. So if uh, if I look off to the side, then that's why. I'm just putting this all over my lid, up to my crease, because that's where all of my shadows where all the shadow is going to be. So I put that on. Next I'm just going to take my, this is from Revlon and it's kind of old because I've had it for a while. But This is the Color Stay 12 Hour Shadow and this is in Berry Bloss, Berry Bloom. And it's, I got it because it's all the purples and um, it's what I needed for this look. And I'm just going to get, I have two brushes and you're just going to have to bear with me because I'm getting a new brush set when I go on my trip. But these are the two that I use for my eyeshadow, and this I use all over, and this I use for my crease. So I'm going to be using just those two, so they're not any numbers, and they're not anything specific. So anyway, that's what I'm going to use. First, I'm going to take this lightest color, the first one, and you could use any really with, um, like if you have any other shadows um, that are similar to these, you can use this. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lid and up into my crease, because this is going to be kind of my... Um, foundation I guess you could say for it so it looks like that now next I'm going to take the second color which is this kind of dark gray and I'm going to get that heavily on the brush and then I'm going to take it from right here from the middle of my lid and kind of bring it out kind of like a V for my crease get into my crease a little out into V and then to right there and I'm going to get that area really good and you might have to go back and do um, another uh, another coat and then I'm just going to do the same for this side get it in the crease and do like a V just like that I know it looks crazy now it's going to look a lot better when I get done with this okay so that's that next I'm going to take this really dark color the last color it's a deep plum plum purple it's really dark and I'm going to put it all in my crease all in the crease and then I'm going to take it and just apply it like to the bottom of my lid. I mean just to the bottom right here. So it's going to look like that. I know it looks kind of crazy now. But trust me when I say it will look really good when it's done. So again to the crease and to the bottom. Okay, last but not least is this really pretty purple. And it's the brightest. It's like a fuchsia. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put it kind of right in the middle. And I know that's weird but you'll see. And again, I kind of do it in a V, right in the middle, and I do it again in another V over here, just to get that. And if you don't think that's enough color or you want it um, more, you could do it more on your, uh, on the middle inside part of your lid. Okay, so right now it's a bit heavy, and I'm done with this palette now. I do not need any more colors out of this. So I'm going to put this away over here, and I have this big old buff brush, and what I do when I feel like I've got too much shadow on or it's a little heavy is I just run this brush over it a little, and it helps blend my colors in, and then I can just take my fingers and um, just help, help get it a little bit toned down a little. So I just did that. Next, for my upper area to highlight my brow bone, I have this white shadow um, in Ulta. It's Ulta from Ulta, and it's just called Pearl, and I've hit the bottom on it because I've used it so much. But I'm just going to take this and get it all over this brush and just go up right here and then go out. 
so it highlights my brow bone and then right here. Okay, so that's highlighted. And then last but not least, um, I have one of these little shadow things um, that you can just get. I have one of these. And I'm just going to take it and get the white. And I'm going to do it right in my tear duct as my highlight right there. So just do it in your tear duct right there. Got a little extra eyeshadow. I'm going to do that again on this eye. That's that. Okay. So that is all the purple, like that's all the shadows that I'm going to do. And then next I'm going to take um, my Maybelline eyeliner. This is in brownish black. And I also have chestnut brown, but I don't really like that one a lot. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to apply eyeliner just to the outer more heavily to the outer part of my eye on both sides and that is it on the top and then if you've got this little blendy thing in the bottom and I'm just going to blend it out a little okay and then I'm just going to um, go and sweep my bottom with this color and same over here then I'm just going to come back and I'm just going to blend it and I hope this isn't too confusing to you guys because I might you know skip steps and stuff but this is just how I do it and I find that it's kind of efficient for me and then this is just the Maybelline CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, and I knew I know I reviewed this. I really like this uh, uh, mascara, and I'm just gonna apply a nice thick coat of that to my top and bottom, and then I'm gonna apply another coat so that my lashes stand out. And I'm gonna do the same for this eye. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to take my hair down so you guys can see. See, and it looks really pretty. Um, it's not too, too bad. And I know that this isn't the best camera and that you can't see everything. But you can tell that, like, I have eyeshadow on that's really pretty. But up close and in person, it's so pretty. You have so many different colors. And I've actually seen this look in quite a few magazines. Um, not necessarily the purple, but the the different shades and tones and blending and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will be putting more up soon and comment below and please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.